Hi, this is Paul Noreen with Baltimore Air Coil. Today I'm going to talk to you about how quick and easy it is to maintain the Trillium Series condenser. But before we go any further, make sure you've thoroughly read the operation and maintenance manual that comes with every Trillium condenser. It's located with the submittal documents inside the lower access door. Make sure you pay attention to all the warnings in the manual before doing any work on the condenser. The only tools you're going to require today is a garden hose and a screwdriver. Before turning off the condenser, make sure you've turned off the refrigeration system and that's going to be specific to your location. Before doing any work on the condenser, make sure the fans are off and make sure the pump is off. Make sure you've turned off the power to the condenser and make sure it's been locked out and tagged out for your safety. It's time to take out the pre-cooling media. We want to make sure the pre-cooling media is dry because when, if it was wet, it expands and it's a lot heavier to work with. The well, first thing we're going to do is lift the, to open the latch on each end to lift up the, the cover on the media. We're going to remove the media one piece at a time starting in the middle. Now that we've got the pre-cooling media out, it's time to clean it. We just take a garden hose and start at the top, just kind of work our way across the top and just keep working back and forth, flushing all the dirt and debris out of the media pads. Just keep working in a horizontal line. If you look around the back, you can see dirt and debris coming out of the pads. They're a fluted design, which means they're on an angle. If you, look, if you look into the media, you can't see through it, but if you look on an angle, you can see right through it. You can see the water going in clean. The water coming out is a little dirtier. Just keep working your way across and down. As I look down through, I can, from here, I can see right through and down below where I haven't hit, I can see some debris in there that's coming right out. Just keep working our way across, like I said, in a horizontal fashion. Just keep doing it until you look across and you can look through and the water's clean coming out, you know that you've gotten all the dirt and debris out. Now that we've cleaned the pre cool media and it's off to the side drying, it's time to inspect the coil. So we're doing a visual inspection of the coil. We can see that there's some dirt and debris that have collected on the coil. Looking at giving a good visual inspection of anything that looks out of the norm. It's time to clean the coil. We're going to start at the top and just kind of work our way across the top and clean all the debris that's accumulated on the face of the coil. Get it right off. Keep working your way across in a horizontal fashion. More flushing it off the face and then we can start and go through the coil. You can see a lot of this stuff coming off. Tree pollen, bugs dirt and debris, whatever is possible could be in the air. You see everything just runs down. With the unit being turned off, the drain valve is open and everything's flushing right out. So this is a more direct approach through the coil. And the way to tell when it's clean is if you just look at the water, the water we start off, the water's dirty, and then when we finish, when the water's clean, we know we've cleaned all the dirt and debris off the coil. Now that we've cleaned the coil, it's time to clean the rain gutter. Everything that come out of the coil is now collected in the, in the gutter. I'm just going to start using the garden hose to kind of flush all the dirt and debris right out. I'm going to go right down the drain. The unit's going to be nice and clean. Now that we've got the pre-cooling media cleaned, and the coil's cleaned, it's time to clean the sump area. We're going to open the access door. We're going to remove these finger bolts here to gain access to the pump. We're going to just put these bolts off to the side. We're going to lift up the two handles, pump covers. We're going to remove the pump. You notice we still haven't used any tools, it's all toolless. We have a handle on the pump. I'm going to take the lead out. I'm going to lift the pump right outside. 
We'll leave that off there. We're going to take the garden hose and clean out the sump. And turning the power off, the drain valve is open. We just keep cleaning out so all the dirt's gone. We're going to start cleaning the basket around the pump for any dirt or debris that's gotten through the screen. And the pump also has a screen on the outside you can clean. We want to make sure we check the float in the back, make sure that's not restricted at all. Keep spraying. You can tell when it's clean, it's pretty, there's nothing in there but just the basket and the pump. We're going to put the pump back into the sump. We're going to put the stainless steel push pins back in. Again, as you can see, we haven't used any tools. We're going to take the bleed line, put it back into the overflow. Anything left in here, we can just pick it up and throw it out. Put the covers back down. We can put our finger bolts back. The bleed line should be closed right here. Make sure that's free. Close the door, lock the door, the fan reset button. That's all there is to clean in the inside of the Trillium unit. Now we're inside the unit with the fans turned off, locked out, and tagged out. We want to make sure we can turn the fans and the fans aren't restricted or bound up in any way. You just take your hand and turn them. They're freely. It's not hitting anything. It's not making any noise. That's your fan inspection. If you have a restriction in your water distribution system, you can use the discrete spray system to flush it out. You just connect the garden hose to the discrete spray. Connect the garden hose right to here. Turn it on and let the water pressure flush out your water distribution system. Just let it run for a while. Flush it out. Now that we've got the discrete spray system set up, we want to check the distribution holes to make sure none of them are clogged up. You could use a, a screwdriver just to make sure they're flowing freely. Just use the screwdriver to make sure they're flowing at an even flow. And that's all there is to it, to clean the distribution holes. In the event you still have a restriction in the water distribution system, you can always take off the end plugs and connect a garden hose and shoot the garden hose directly into the water manifold. Take the garden hose and just stick it right through and just flush out any dirt or debris that's in the manifold. Just hold the garden hose right on there and just let anything that's in there just flush right out. Now that you've completed cleaning the Trillium Series condenser, it's time to put the media back in place. We take the media, we start on the ends, just slide it back into place, make sure to follow the directional arrows and to follow the, that the baffle stays on the top. Just take each piece and just put it in. Now we're putting the media back in. Pay attention to the directional arrow here showing that the smaller pad, the narrower pad, goes in the middle on this unit. Close the top and secure both latches. And you're done putting the media back in. Now that you've completed cleaning the Trillium Series condenser, it's time to put everything back into operation. 
I'm going to turn the disconnect switch, hit the fan reset, make sure the fans are operating, and make sure the refrigeration system is on. That's how easy it was to clean the Trillium Series condenser. Thanks for tuning in. This is Paul Noreen from Baltimore Air Coil Company.